Um, if, if things are directed how God wanted them, then why did he direct me to love women mm -hmm. as one loves men? Mm -hmm. Well, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we are here again with another video titled, Why Would God Make Me a Lesbian? Wow, this is really an intriguing question. So let's see how this goes. Go. You mentioned the acorn analogy, that an acorn mm -hmm. is pre is programmed to grow up into a tree. Yes. Um, if, if things are directed how God wanted them, then why did he direct me to love women mm -hmm. as one loves men? Mm -hmm. Well, the question might be, how do you know God directed you to do that, right? And there are a lot of things that go on in this world that all of us have, all of us have certain orientations to things we ought not do according to God, but yet we still do them. That's why we live with a fallen nature, right? All of us have a fallen nature. Um, should we expect that in this fallen world that God would give us a nature that wasn't fallen? No. No? So we're all struggling with sin. That's why we need a savior. Because but everyone, you and me and everyone in this room, needs the sacrifice that Christ provided. Regardless of what our feelings are, regardless of which way we're directed, based on nature or nurture. And as you know, there's a big debate over how much is nature, how much is nurture, uh, for all of our sexual orientations. But are my feelings inherently wrong to have? Are feelings inherently wrong to have? I don't think there's a way you can be blamed for having feelings. Look, I have feelings all day that I ought not act on. And sometimes I fail. But it's not the feelings that are the issue, it's the action that flows from them. Actually, though, if you look at what Jesus said, when you, when you look at Matthew chapter 5, Jesus actually ratchets, ratchets up the standard. He says if you're just angry with your brother, you're guilty. Well, thanks, Jesus. I don't have a prayer of living up to that, and I don't. He says, be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. I can't do that. You can't do that. Nobody in this room can do that. Who can do it? Only he can. That's why we need him. So we all have these struggles, Sammy. I have struggles. You have struggles. But for us to say that God's at fault for these struggles. No, God's not at fault for the struggles. I don't believe that. Right. You don't believe what? I don't believe that he's at fault. I think we right. all make mistakes, but I don't think something so like something like love that's supposedly pure it can be pure in the way that a man loves a woman or a man loves a man or a woman loves a woman. Who's to say that the way you love your wife mm -hmm. is any different from the way I'm going to love someone in the future, whether it be a man or a woman? Well, it's not me to say anything because I'm not the moral arbiter of the universe. That's true. Right? So I'm, I, I don't decide right and wrong. This is why when people come to me and say, well, don't impose your morality on me, like I said earlier, I said, this isn't my morality. I didn't make any of this up. In fact, there were things I wish were different, but I'm not the general manager of the universe. I'm not God. So I guess back to your, your question, you'd have to define exactly what you mean by love. What, is, what does love mean? Can you care for somebody of the same sex? Of course you can. I do. The question is, should you go further than that into some sort of romantic relationship? That's the question. I think you should. Well, OK, you can take that. You're, it's a free country. But scripturally, if you believe in the scriptures and if you believe in natural law. Define natural law. Natural law is the idea that everybody intuitively understands moral right and wrong on the big issues. That there's a natural design to us. There's a natural design to the universe that we're intended to go in a, a particular direction. And that we know we're supposed to shun evil and we're supposed to seek the good. So, and you think that natural law was founded by, like, Christianity? No, 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 no. It existed long before Christianity. That's founded why, by God. for example, Noah, the entire generation of Noah was judged. They didn't have any scripture, they didn't have any Bible, but God expected them to know basic right and wrong because he had written it on their hearts. So you don't need the Bible to know basic right and wrong. Everyone already knows it. Now, we can suppress it 
We can reject it, we can go our own way, and all of us do on occasion, but it's still there. Wow, what an interesting answer. You can tell uh, our question is a bit uh, tricky. Uh, why you would God make me a lesbian? I don't think uh, God can make you a lesbian or God can make you a gay. It's your own uh, personal decision. It's your own personal decision because uh, a lot of these people are suffering from uh, sexual uh, dysphoria and they are suffering from mental delusion because what uh, they perceive to be truth is not actually the truth. And I believe we don't need to uh, feel sympathy on those people or, or try to bring ourselves to the level whereby uh, we will accept them for who they are. We have to liberate them by telling them the truth. We have to liberate them by telling them the truth. There is no way uh, uh, you can be a, a female and you have a love towards uh, a female or you be a man, you have love toward your fellow man. It's not acceptable. Though I believe our uh, UK, American and all those other Western countries, uh, it's a free country where you are allowed to practice uh, whatever you like, but I believe uh, it's against human nature for a man to be attracted to uh, his fellow man or for a woman to be attracted to his fellow woman. I believe uh, it's against nature and I believe this is totally unacceptable and you can't blame God. You can't blame God for it. You can't blame God for it because it's your own personal decision. God has given everyone the, the, the free will to decide on what, uh, what you want and what you, you don't want to decide on uh, whatever you want to do. But God has implanted, uh, 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 has implanted His law, has implanted uh, uh, something in your heart for you to be able to know what is good and what is bad. So uh, for you to not uh, blame God for your problem, I think uh, that is totally wrong. You deciding to be a gay, you deciding to be a lesbian, you deciding on who to love is your own personal decision, not God's personal decision. God has placed in everyone's heart uh, the, the, the ability to be able to discern what is good and what is bad. So you choosing to be a lesbian or you choosing to be a gay, God has not made you to be so. God has not made you to so to be so. And when I hear uh, this type of question, I genuinely feel uh, compassion because you can tell the world is becoming dark. And we have been lied to as a generation, as a people, and you can see those lies. Uh, you can see you can see those lies uh, in our question. You can see those lies in our question. I believe when you are born as a baby, uh, I understand when we are born as a baby, we are not a, a sexual being. And by nature, uh, when you are born as a baby, you are not born as a gay, you are not born as a straight, you are not born as a lesbian, you have no attraction. You can't tell me uh, when you are born as a baby, uh, you, you are attracted, uh, that a baby can be attracted to the to the next baby uh, beside uh, the baby, or the baby can be attracted the baby can be attracted to uh, 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 the uncle, the dad, the sister. When you are born as a baby, there is nothing like an attraction. So you can't blame God. You can't blame God for that. And from the question she asks, uh, you can tell the first thing we can, uh, the first lie in our question is uh, we should find our identity in our orientation. We should find our identity in our orientation. How can you find your identity in your orientation? If you are made as a male, you are a male. If you are made as a female, you are a female. You can't change the XS chromosome. You can't change the XY chromosome. If you are born as XS chromosome, you remain as XS chromosome. If you are born with uh, XY chromosome, chromosome, that's how it's going to be. You can't tell me uh, we should find our identity in our sexual orientation. That means uh, you can identify as a man, you can identify as a woman, you can identify as a dog, as a trans, as a cat. 
you just feel you can identify yourself as whatever you want to identify yourself with. And I believe uh, we are in a free country. You are free to identify yourself uh, what, uh, with whatever you want to identify yourself with. And I'm not going to impose uh, my own moral values on you. And you can come and tell me that because you have identified yourself as a male or as a female, that means I should, uh, I should also uh, 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 accept you as a male or as a female. Why is I know you are, uh, if you are a female, I know you are a female. You can't tell me you identify yourself as a male, so I should accept you as a male. So you, it's not by, it's not by identity. You can't identify yourself with whatever you want to identify yourself with. Because if you are born with XS chromosome, you remain XS. If you are born with XY, you remain XY. It can't be changed. So you saying uh, God has created you uh, 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 as, as, as a lesbian, that is totally uncalled for. That is totally unacceptable. Because God has given everyone the free will to decide on whatever what uh, to decide on whatever they want to decide on. God is not going to force force you to do something because He has implanted uh, He has implanted His gift on you for you to be able to decide on what is good and what is bad. Just by nature, you know what is good, you know what is bad. And if you feel because you are having some certain thoughts and you decide to execute it, you feel it's justifiable be uh, because you have the thought. Everyone has di everyone has uh, different thoughts. Everyone has a lot of thoughts. You can't tell me because you are having uh, something in your mind. Uh, that means you have to do it. So if you are having uh, a thought to uh, to go and steal, uh, because because you are having that thought in you, uh, uh, you feel it's right. You feel it's the right thing to do. Then you go out there and steal. You can't tell me uh, because you are having some thoughts. That means uh, uh, it's, it's the right thing to do. And I believe we can't blame. God for our problem. Everyone has to be accountable for what they do. Just by nature, God has given us the gift for us to be able to discern on what is good and what is bad. So, uh, if she's saying uh, 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 from our second point, our sexual orientation is not our choice. Our third point, all love is pure. All love is pure. All love is pure based on your own personal opinion, based on your own personal perspective. But biblically, biblically, uh, you can't love, uh, you can't, uh, you can't, as a woman, you can't love a woman. It's not a pure love. As a man, you can't love, uh, you can't love a man. You can't have sexual uh, uh, attraction uh, to, uh, with a man. As a woman, you can't have uh, sexual attraction with a woman. That type of love is not pure. I believe uh, the society we are in right now has come to accept certain things which I believe are, are nonsense. You, uh, and because uh, uh, society have come to accept these things, uh, uh, people claim uh, they are doing the right thing whilst they are suffering from mental delusion because what they perceive to be truth is not the truth. And I believe instead of us trying to uh, sympathize with them, trying to accept them for who they are, we should liberate them by telling them the truth because what they perceive to be truth is not actually the truth. I've really learned a lot uh, from, this, from this message and I hope you also do. And I would also like to hear your comments. Do you think God can make someone to be a lesbian or do you think God can make someone to be a gay or do you think it's their own personal decision? Keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day.